words, I wanted to give you a look into my morning and how I spend it with the Holy Spirit. I first wake up, brush my teeth, you know, do all of my hygiene, and then I just set the tone for the day by opening up the blinds. And I'm a firm believer in stewarding what the Lord has given you. My apartment, my space, it was not a work of my own, even though I didn't realize that at the time it was a work of God. The reason I have this space is because of God, so I like to steward my place. So when I wake up, I clean up. I make my bed and then I get ready to start the day by spending the morning with the Holy Spirit. I then go ahead and grab the tools that I need for my Bible study. That includes this morning devotional that I use. I got it from Amazon. It includes my prayer notebook as well as my scripture breakdown notebook. I got one from Target and one from TJ Maxx. I grab a pen and a highlighter. And then I also grab my laptop and it's not in the video, but I also grab my headphones. And then I also pick out a book that I'm going to read for the morning after my devotional. I then head to my study space because if I study and read the Bible in my bed, it's not going to be as effective for me. So I head to my kitchen and to my island and set up all of my materials. I usually light a candle, but I did not this particular morning. But I just set my space to be basically how I want it to be for this morning. So I'll put my books on one side, my headphones on one side, and leave my laptop on one end. And then I have this stand as well for my Bible so that way I'm not looking all the way down to read. I then fill up my water bottle because your girl be thirsty, okay? I get super, super thirsty, so I like to start off the morning with also having a cup of water. And then I get straight into worship. Now, I'll put my playlist on the description box, or I'll put it in the description box. Um, and I just love to worship, you know, just give my gratitude to God, glorify Him, exalt Him. And there's just something about beginning your day with worship before you get into the Word. So it depends on the day. I'll spend 30 minutes for 45 minutes an hour it depends on what it depends on what my spirit needs I then take those off and I use my headphones because I don't like hearing myself sing so that's why I use my headphones compared to like playing it out loud or on my tv straight from worship I like to get into my morning prayer now obviously when I wake up in the morning I thank God for allowing me to see another day but you know there's some days where we just don't know what to pray and a great resource is grace for purpose on youtube they are amazing they upload daily every single morning and i tend to go through either kind of which one is kind of popular or i'll look at their topics to see what i need for the day so i may need to be led by the holy spirit i may i may need to find joy in the lord i may need reassurance that the lord is protecting me and fighting my battles whatever it is i'll press play and i'll pray it it is an amazing resource and i'll go ahead and put their channel inside of my description as well if you guys are interested in that after i say my prayer i just feel so amazing i go ahead and set the tone for my bible study and my devotional by putting on the youtube channel yoni chairs i love this channel if you guys can see they have great images and in the background of this one it actually has jesus carrying his cross up a mountain but then i go ahead and get into the actual devotional so this devotional again i got from amazon they have a different one from every day just to kind of remind you of the things that the holy spirit needs you to know and they always have it backed up by three at least at minimum three scriptures and then they have a prayer at the very end to say after you've done your devotional now the whole point of this video was me realizing that i was not spending time with the lord correctly in the morning i would read the devotional and go on about my day compared to actually reading the word attached to it so once i realized or once he let me know like hey daughter i know you're trying but i need you to switch it up a little bit now i go ahead and read each scripture and i break it down so i like to do the salt method where you read the scripture you observe you apply it to your life and then you pray and that's what this notebook is for and it's helped me so much to connect with god and to understand who he is and what he wants for our lives and again his will for our lives starting your morning off with the holy spirit is important because you invite him into your day you allow his protection his guidance his wisdom to help you throughout the day and you grow deeper into the knowledge of the word if you guys should know at this point knowing our word is so imperative in the times that we are living in but again, I'll go ahead and read each scripture. So again, at minimum, there's three. I'll break each one down by using the soap method. 
and again just allow it to speak to me and sometimes with a certain scripture that they have I may even just read the entire chapter because it's really talking to me for that particular morning but yeah so again I just kind of wanted to share my morning routine with you guys because you know again I was unaware that I was not doing it correctly until I heard from the Holy Spirit and some of you guys may be trying to figure out okay how can I begin my mornings properly you don't have to do exactly what I do but you can let it be an inspiration for you on how to properly invite the Holy Spirit into your mornings every single day I'll link all my tools that I use in the description box but once I'm done again I'll go ahead and say the prayer that is in the devotional and then I'll go ahead and use whatever book that I chose for the morning and read a chapter within that book. After I read my book, I make breakfast. I do not feed my flesh until I feed my spirit. And then I'll either watch a sermon or put on a podcast. As always, God loves you and I'll see you in the next video.